Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lau with Kenchan Crafts. Today I wanted to share with you guys this lovely notebook cover. This product was sponsored by Leather Neo. They sent this over to me to do a review of it and share with you guys. And if you like the product, um, you can definitely check them out. Uh, I will put all the description or all the information in the description box so you can check that out. And then I also asked them to do a personalized, uh, I think this is like an engraving or etched, like heat stamped on here. And it has my YouTube channel name, Kenchan Crafts, on there. So I'm super, super happy with how this turned out. Leather Neo is a mid sized business family run company and they are based off in Macau and they do use uh, full grain leather so if you are not into leather or if you would prefer vegan alternatives to leather I do not think that Leather New has any of those options so this is more for the you know you folks that love your leather products and it is genuine full grain leather it's you know have felt it 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 does make dents and marks like leather does and it smells like leather so it's, i just love it so it definitely you can see the you can see like the color difference there from the scratches that i make and then they also use sa saddle stitching to stitch all of the you know the stitches here you can see that it's so beautifully well done love 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 the quality here uh, and saddle stitching for stitching leather is using two needles with one long string and you just kind of crisscross as you are stitching and so that does take a lot more time and skill of a leather maker than say you know using a sewing machine to stitch the leather so I do appreciate that I do know that that is you know it takes more time and it also ends up with a much better quality product. And then another thing I wanted to mention about this lovely uh, journal cover here, they don't round the corners. It's not sharp. If you prefer your corners rounded, I am pretty sure that you can communicate uh, and email them about rounded edges. Otherwise they do come like this. The edges are just kind of like straight edges. It is a brown leather notebook cover. There are many other products on their website that you can also order and the insides are going to be very different for each item. So this one that I got is about $52 and you can, I think the personal lettering here will be just an extra charge. All right. So the clip, the flap here to clip the the whole cover closed has two buttons, which is really nice in the event that your notebook cover, everything that you have becomes really, you know, really bulky. You can use the further button here so that you will have more space. And if you have a slim one, then you can cover it with the, you know, the second button and it'll be slimmer. So there's that much space. And then with the second one, you got a lot more space to work with. So it's adjustable in, in that way. All right, so moving into the inside, it does come with a notebook. Now I use fountain pens, so I'm not sure if this notebook is fountain pen friendly. They're not a fountain pen company. So this, I would not expect them to have fountain pen paper. Yeah, it's got the dates up there. So basically this is like a, a memo pad you can use for whatever purpose you want. So I'll probably take this out because I do have another fountain pen book that I will be putting in here. So first of all, it's got a flap here. This flap is where you put your notebook, the end of your notebook in. And then there is another flap in here as well. So if you would like to put some ephemera in here, it's a nice big space. Let's, let me just put this book in here so you can kind of see how this layout would be like. So it fits, this is an A5 size. I believe they also have A6 size and maybe a little bigger too. So this fits my notebook so perfectly. I love it. 
so and then my notebook sort of lays flat so not completely flat but look at that it's so nice i so i love it but it does kind of squish this bit here which is the pencil holder or the pen holder and so if you do have um if you buy this specific one i believe it'll be difficult for this pen holder to be used so if you want a pen holder in your cover i would suggest getting one where the pen holder is on the left side because the notebook is going to go this way so once the book notebook is in here you can just like lift this up and grab whatever you have underneath so i would suggest like if you have ephemera or paper stuff that if you do put it underneath here there is a chance of it not staying straight and it might crumple up a bit because it is behind a book so that's just an option if you can find use for this extra flap over here all right and then it's got another large opening here you can again put more ephemera on this side and it'll stay a little bit more straight and flat and then it's got a card slot here for writing and journaling purposes i probably would have like one of those plastic cards with washi tape um, around it like a sample washi tape card and then i would just slip that in here so it does fit like a credit card sized card in here and then right here is another opening flap here for field notes it, it should fit a field notes uh, book in here just fine and then this one here you can put in a pen so i tested it with my twisby diamond 580 and it does fit in there just fine however it is a little tight so i suggest again if you're a fountain pen user to use a pen that you're not afraid of it going into very very tough or uh, tight spaces because this is leather it's going to be much harder at the beginning and then as you use your leather products as time goes by these inserts and the whole leather itself will become a little softer. The Twisby is kind of a bulky pen. If you have slimmer fountain pens, which there are out there, these grooves and pockets would be perfect for those. But a larger pen will help break in the leather. Okay, so other uses that I... Let me just set up this notebook cover for you guys so you can see how much you can do with it. Oh, again, I still love this so much. It's just... So nice. The yellow with the brown leather, so nice. So here I have some like just stickers and washi that, um, now I, I'm not gonna put my washi rolls in there, but so let's say that I have some of these washi and stickers that I want to use. So I can just slip these right in there. Okay. And then this is the Tombow Futonosuke pen. It's a lovely uh, pen to write calligraphy, like modern calligraphy with. And so I'll just put that right in there. Okay. And then another great thing you can use this for, if you have tiny scissors for when you need to cut paper or scissor, uh, stickers, I have like a small scissor here too. Oops. Yeah, it sticks in there super, super well. You can see that. Okay, so the scissors, I can just put that in there and it fits in there snugly. And let me just make sure that it doesn't come out. Yeah, so if I put it upside down, it doesn't come out. It, it sits in there snugly, but most of the time I will have it upright so the scissors shouldn't come out. And then here's like some paper ephemera that I can just... So I can go slip that right in there, All right? And then let's see, I have some other paper stuff. So like, let's say I want to use these design uh, ephemera. So these lovely different kind of clear see-through, or it can be hard cardstock paper that you want to use to decorate. But that's, that's me. I love decorating. So this is my example of what I would put in these little slots here. But you can definitely put whatever you want. So 
there it is and then you just close it it isn't that thick with what i have right now so i'm going to use the second button and look at that it's nice compact uh, i mean it is a five so it is a little larger but it's lovely compact you got everything in there um let me just put the scissor too because i know i'm gonna use scissors to cut things <laughs> just as an example all right so i've got my scissors in there and it is safe and secure love it i think you can also like put your fountain pen that you're not afraid to fall on the side here and then just yeah so like that the pen is not going to fall off that way so this can also be used as a pen holder a pen loop but you do need a clip <laughs> so again i wouldn't use like one of my expensive pens in this way i'm okay with the twisby because they're very affordable they're very very sturdy pens all right so i think that concludes my review of this lovely lovely leather book cover and again like i said on the website there's many many different designs however all of them are pretty simplistic which i love and again it's quite affordable too for leather beautiful beautiful leather products you can have it personalized to your name or whatever brand you have and Oh, it's just so nice. <laughs> I will have all the details in the description box for you guys. I don't earn any commission out of, you know, whatever you decide to buy, but I love this so much and I think you guys will too. If you guys enjoyed this quick review of the Leather Neo leather book cover, uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching my videos and have a wonderful day. Bye.